Last video in my series, what are these words coming out of my mouth? <laughs> Yay! So getting tired of talking. Um, in this video, I'm going to just go over some some words that, that tripped me out and things that tripped me out when I did my study of the English language and whatnot. First, I want to say, like, can we stop with the confusion in our language? It's, it's, it's ridiculous. Maybe it's not confusing to some people who have an elitist education, but the rest of us, rest of us over here drowning in confusion. It's, it's bullshit. Anyway, the first one is justice. Once I started studying the English language and, you know, I'll be talking and then I hear, I hear a word or I'll say a word, I'm like, hmm. Wonder what's the root word of that and what does it really mean and all this and justice came 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 across my mind. You know, because of all the protests we're having right now. So the root word of justice is just. And I C E justice is a prefix. I forget what it means. I think it means the same thing as uh I O N shun, the state of something, the state of of being or something. I don't know. But just the concept of justice means basically kind of like fairness. But when in my research of the word justice and just, like just doesn't mean the same thing as fair. Just means like, let me look it up. Okay, just. Definition one, having a basis in or conforming to fact or reason. Definition two, well, this is C from definition one, conforming to a standard of correctness. Definition two, acting or being in conformity with what is morally upright or good. Now, as we know from history, everything that has been legal hasn't always been fair. So having a basis in conformity seems like we could use a better word for justice then justice all right next we have another homophone as they call it like peace and peace there's no and no like why do we have a homophone of this word no we have as in knowledge that we have in our head and no as in no you can't do that something don't seem right about that to me um revolution before I started my studies, I thought revolution was when the masses rose up and changed the way their government worked or something like that. But the prefix re means again, and the suffix shun is, we know that means a state of being or whatnot. I don't feel like looking it up. So... The root of revolution is the will, like the will of a human. So we have, again, the will and state of being. So the state of willing again, I don't know. Like I said, this shit doesn't make sense to me. Maybe I'm not bright enough to understand it. I definitely wasn't taught to understand it. Next word I want to talk about, protest. Um, I don't remember what the prefix pro means because I get mixed up between pro and pre. And again, I don't feel like looking it up. But I think it means the start of something, I believe. I don't know. And test, the rule of test is to witness. So, well, I don't know. Protest to me seems stupid anyway. Like, these protests now, we got... A whole bunch of people standing in front of a cop, standing in front of a line of cops screaming. Like, what is this accomplishing? It looks stupid to me. The cops are just standing there like, yeah, yeah, whatever. Anyway, while the people who make the rules sit back and probably laughing at every, all of it. Um, the word job versus the word work. It's getting hot out here. Okay. So we have 
in this society, everybody thinks you need to have a job in order to live, which I think is some bullshit. But in the Bible it says, whoever doesn't work doesn't eat. Now, if you look at the definition of work, that makes a whole lot of sense because the root of the word work is to expend energy. And if you don't go and pick, like, if you just don't expend the energy enough to go pick a fruit off the tree, you're not going to eat. I mean, it's really a basic thing that we make a mountain out of a molehill and say you got to go slave for somebody for 40 hours a week, a third of your life, just so you can eat. Next, I want to talk about the word wicked. And this one tripped me out because I like that verse in the Bible where it says, um, for we fight not against flesh and blood, but against uh, principalities, darkness, rules of the darkness, and spiritual wickedness in high places. And I could do a whole 10 minute video just about that verse, but I'm gonna talk about the word wicked because in looking for the root of the word wicked, it came to wick, which is uh, like the wick of a candle or something that burns and you put it in a lamp so it can burn. And I'm like, how does this equate to wickedness? But somewhere down the line, there was a change and I didn't find this in this dictionary, but in one of the apps I downloaded that goes, that talks about the roots of words and it said the root of wickedness, the whole word wicked. Damn app just, damn app just made my uh, video stop recording. Anyway, but the uh, the root, the word wicked is different from the word wick. And wicked, the root of that word is witch, or things of witch, witch nature. Not witch nature, but you know. Basically, witch or witching. It's quite odd, ain't it? Last in this video, I want to talk about the word spirit because this really kind of what got me my mind tingling. This was before I even started studying Spanish or English because I was I was real big into religion um, earlier in my life, and then at another point in my twenties. But the word spirit and soul always confused me. Like, what's the freaking difference? So once I started studying language, I looked up the roots of these words. And in my studies, it came to it came to my realization, and I could be tripping, but the word spirit the word soul, the word mind, as in mind, and the word man all kind of got the same root. They all, I don't know, some kind of interrelate, interrelatedness going on there. And that's something to think about, especially as we come into this new age, as they say, and uh, consciousness is, is at the forefront of a lot of things. Yeah. Yeah, this is the end of my series on language and what are these words coming out of our mouth. Um, I hope you like it. Please comment and subscribe. Let me know what you think. Critique me. And if you have any other uh, trippy words that come to your mind, please let me know. Because this is something that interests me greatly. Um, and as always, love and harmony to all the inhabitants of this beautiful planet. Peace out. Peace out. <laughs>